The multiverse theory states that there is an infinite set of universes other than our own. It is possible that the physical laws that govern each particular universe could be different from the laws in the others. This prominent theory has led many scientists to question the uniqueness of our own universe. Are the characteristics of our universe particular to the development of life? Will any universe that has even the slightest deviation from our universe be unable to develop and sustain life? As an initial step to exploring these possible alternate universes, the physical laws from our universe can be kept the same while fundamental parameters are varied to see what structures and dynamics arise. For instance, by changing the strength of gravity and electromagnetic forces and the rate of nuclear reactions, one can find what combinations of these values allow for the formation of stars. I will be varying the primordial density fluctuation, which determines the density of structures, such as galaxies, that arise in the universe when it is forming. My project is studying habitability in the galaxies that form in these hypothetical universes, and I will be focusing in detail on a few different stellar distributions, in particular, a spherical distribution known as the Hernquist profile. I am using two basic criteria for determining whether a planet can sustain life. One, the planet cannot be disrupted too often by passing stars or objects, so as to allow enough time for life to evolve. And two, the temperature of the planet must allow for liquid water on the surface. Using these constraints, for a given galaxy, I can determine the galactic habitable zone, or the region of the galaxy where a planet with no host star, otherwise known as a wandering planet, could be located and sustain life. However, it is not enough to just determine this zone when considering the question of habitability, because the stars and planets do not simply stay still, but rather move around and interact with each other. So I will investigate the dynamics of the stars and wandering planets as they travel throughout the galaxy, looking at how their interactions cause their orbits to wander in and out of the habitable zone, and finding the probability of leaving the zone once in it. This information will then help me to find the areas of parameter space that are optimal for habitability, and thus provide perspective on how ideal the conditions of our universe are. I hope that this initial exploration of alternate universes will bring us one step closer to answering the question of our uniqueness, as well as to help us learn more about the universe we live in.